Hello, good evening. My name is Kainson Munonye, the application developer, the computer engineer. And today I'm going to make a very short video on Python program that solves a quadratic, quadratic equation. Now, before I do this, I would like to thank all my subscribers. You are really doing great. In fact, I'm going to uh, make more interesting videos uh, this year for you. I really appreciate you, my subscriber. Thumbs up to you. So let's go ahead to look at this program that solves a, sim a quadratic equation in Python. Of course, it's going to be a very uh, simple program and also a very short one. Okay, now let me take you through the lines of codes and then we look at the logic and then we wrap it up. The first part of this program where you have uh, this thread number and so on that is uh, comments what it means is the lines of code that start with a hash key is considered a comment it means the compiler ignores it completely so whatever you want to write in there is considered to be a comment the, the compiler doesn't interpret a comment so uh, this editor you see is notepad plus plus i think the notepad plus plus is a free uh, editor it gives you this uh, syntax coloration and what have you so it's very good you can get a copy for yourself and you should test this out so now the first uh line that is interpreted or following the 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 block of comments here says import maths now this this is very important now what is import math import math means import uh, some a directory containing several uh, pre-compiled files that uh, functions have been defined in we are importing math because we want to use functions like this pow we also want to use function like sqrt so they are defined in the math library so that is why we have this import math if you don't use import math here i tell you it's not going to work now after that we have print uh, this is more like the header uh, what displays on the screen program to find the roots of a quadratic equation equation of the form x squared plus 2x minus 1 and so on now you have this slash n backslash n i explained it to you before now backslash n means new line so you have backslash n backslash n two new lines in satellite is equivalent to pressing the the return key two times to create two new lines okay now we have this comment in the values of the coefficient for sure when you want to solve a quadratic equation of the form x squared plus 2x plus 2 or you can say a x squared plus b x plus c where a b and c are the coefficients of x squared x and uh the last item uh respectively i'm sure you understand it because if you are listening to this tutorial of course you should understand how to solve quadratic equation manually so a is equal to input now Imputes open braces close braces whatever is inside these braces is displayed on the screen and now this input means that the system will pause and wait for the user to enter a value the system continues to run when the user enters a value and presses the return key so a is equal to imputes uh, open braces blah 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 it waits for the user the user enters let's say one enter it moves to the next one so whatever the user enters is assigned to the variable here on the left as you can see so at the last one if the user enters a value and press enter it is assigned to c so at this point the values of a b and c have been assigned from the user input on the keyboard so the next step is to calculate uh b squared minus 4ac so i choose to use master power 
um, mass of power this is POW is a function that takes two parameters the first parameter is a number and the second parameter is a power so you have B comma 2 means B raised to power 2 minus 4 AC and that gives us the value for D the next nice thing is that we find the square root of this value that has been calculated and then as you know the almighty formula which says x is equal to minus b plus minus roots b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so we have minus b plus d of course you know that these roots are the square root sqrt is a function for square root of all of this over 2a and the next value for x is uh you have this minus here so you have minus b plus you have minus b minus so that gives us two distinct roots for the two distinct values for the values of x for the roots of this quadratic equation now the next step is to display the answers on the screen for the user uh you have display already you know that this is a comment it says print blah 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 it's just what displays the roots of the equation here are then now this is important i have print blah blah of course you know this is new line x1 is equal to now this open and close braces is a placeholder that holds the value of whatever you have uh in the format area format x1 is placed there so what you have is x1 is equal to whatever value of x1 has been calculated and x2 is equal to whatever value of x2 that has been calculated and is displayed for the user on the screen and now raw input i think i explained it in my previous tutorial raw input blah 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 press enter to exit raw input simply holds and waits for the user to enter a key on the keyboard before it closes if you don't use if you don't use this raw input here then the program runs and automatically closes the window and I hope you understand how the program goes. I'd like us to test out this program uh, and see that it works. So let's go out to the directory where I have this program and I just open it up. So I enter the value of A, let's say 1, the value of B, uh, 3, and the value of C, 2. Okay, so you have the roots of the equation are x1 is equal to. 1.0 x2 is equal to 1.0 present data is this so beautifully this program is running quite well well the codes i might just uh, put a link under there in the description area so that you can get it and try it out yourself i hope this has been informative for you if that is the case please give this video a thumbs up and then make some comments, maybe ask questions, and maybe you share around with your friends, who knows, you might just be helping them out in one assignment in school or something. My name remains Kainton Munonye, the application developer, the computer engineer, and I repeat, I love you all my subscribers, and we see you in the next video.